So CDS views is also called the push down mechanism. With the CDS view, we are, we are pushing down the load from the application layer to the database because we have a HANA database and we would be able to fetch the data the, with the CDS view. When the CDS view runs, when the program on a CDS view run, it basically pushed down, it used the resources of HANA database to get the data and to calculate the data. All the resources would be used of HANA database and the final result we will get. Although if you are a BAPR is writing a logic that from this table, take the data, this table, take the data, summarize this, match this column, prepare this one, do the calculation. And then if you are writing all these things into the application layer from the table level, what happens with the normal ABAP code? It calls the data. It calls the data up into the application layer. And in the application layer, it filters out the data. It summarizes the data. And then it gives the final results. With that approach, it also reduces a lot of unnecessary data movement. When we write the program at the application layer, because the filtration happens on the application layer, there might be 10,000 records of the data came. But in your filtration logic, only 2,000 records are required. 8,000 records the database fetched unnecessarily and given to the application layer unnecessarily. So filtration, summarization, calculation, everything you can do at HANA database and get the final results to the application layer. That concept is called CDS view. It is nothing, just a program written on a BAP application layer, on a BAP lifecycle in the SQL way. You would not be directly able to write through the SAP GUI. For writing this, you need to use uh, Eclipse or you need to use HANA Studio, not you, the, the technical consultant. They need to use HANA Studio to write it. But again, a lot of people get confused. CDS views are not written on HANA database. CDS views are still written on application layer. They just, just push down the logics to HANA database to utilize the capabilities of HANA database. That is what CDS views are. Okay. Any basic question on the CDS view, then I will jump back to the our uh, discussion of the MARD table, which we were doing that, how the M, how the data is coming in MRD table. So the first thing I show you in MARD was a CDS view. The replacement object was a CDS view. I will show you how this different CDS view would be connecting with each other to provide you the data. Randeer Mishra, trying to understand with the example of MADDOC table, MADDOC has replaced uh, a number of standard tables, MARC, MARD, uh, etc. Still, we can see the data in the old SE16 MARC, MARD. Does this mean that the CDS view makes it happen to see the data in the old tables? Yes. Yes, Randeer. That's what I, will, I was trying to show you and I will complete that. You will see that what CDS view, CDS views are there, which is taking the data from the core table and that is making it visible in SE16. So that people get confused a lot key in S4 HANA, this is removed, that is removed, this is not there, that is not there. When they jump into the SAP system and then when they try to check that everything is there, MARD has all the data, MARC has all the data, everything is there. What are you saying which is removed, <laughs> right? So that is because in, in your ECC, those data is directly coming from the table, the data is stored in the table. In S4 HANA, behind that logic, when you press execute, a CDS view has been put it by SAP. CDS view do the on the fly calculation to give you the data. So that is a difference from there. So basically these are not the replacement of the mad doc table. Mad doc table is just, mad doc table is not replacement of the stock tables. Mad doc table is just material document table where header and item has been combined. Okay. Now the stock tables was created to get the data faster. Earlier MSEC should be the source of data. Right now, the MADDOC is the source of data. MSEC, we were not able to use a source of data because of the incapability of the database. Sripati is asking, in custom development, we will use MARD table or CDS view table. Even though if you use MARD, would not be a problem in this case. Even though if you use MARD, would not be a problem because when you will call, when your ABAPR will call MARD, at the back end, the CDS view would be called. Okay. At the back end, a CDS view would be called. But you can you can try to use because it is not only the tables. SAP is also creating a lot of CDS views, which for which there is no table was existing in ECC. Right? It is good to start practicing checking what are the CDS view and what can be used. That is the basic difference which I see 
कि भैया पीपल डज नॉट नो दे आर स्टिल राइटिंग द कोल्ड कोड्स इन ओल्ड फैशन in uh, uh, the old fashion of a bap without using a cds fuse so your performance would not be that great if you are using your s4 hana system and writing your your abapers are writing the code in the old fashion way without using a cds fuse